Hey guys, how's it going? Mr. Mitchell here. In this video, we're going to look at average speed. So let's get started. So firstly, we'll look at the definition of average speed followed by its equation, and then we'll look at an application of average speed, which is average speed cameras. So firstly, we define average speed as the total distance traveled by an object measured over the total time taken. And we use a line above the speed symbol to represent average. So in the previous video you saw for speed, we just use the symbol V, but for average speed to make it different from just speed or instantaneous speed, we use V with a little bar above it. So we have V bar equals D over T, that's average speed equals distance over time, or in the form that you'll get on the relationship sheet in the exam is distance equals average speed times time. So we have D equals V bar times T, where D is total distance measured in meters, V bar is the average speed measured in meters per second, and T is total time measured in seconds. We then have average speed cameras, which is an application of average speed. And it says here that you might have seen these yellow average speed cameras on the motorway. They come in pairs, they're painted yellow at the top so that they're clearer to see, and they often have road signs below them like this showing that it's an average speed camera. And the way they work is that they are positioned a set distance apart, so we know what the distance is between any two average speed cameras. It then says they use an automatic number plate recognition system to detect each vehicle. A timer starts when a vehicle passes one set of cameras and stops when they reach the next set of cameras. Knowing the total distance travelled between the cameras and the total time taken to travel this distance, the average speed of the vehicle can be calculated. So we can use this kind of calculation here, average speed equals distance over time, knowing the total distance travelled between the two average speed cameras and the time to travel between the two cameras, and then we can calculate its average speed. Now obviously this is not done manually by a person, it's done by a computer, which is going to automatically calculate your average speed when you've passed between the two average speed cameras. And remember the way that your vehicle is detected is using this automatic number plate recognition system by the cameras. That's all for this video folks, I hope you found it useful. If you did, give it one of these, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.